We are Iowa's most accurate forecast. Well, we are coming upon 615 on your Monday. Great to see you, everybody. We uh, want to get to local five weather on the fives, but first show you this beautiful image of our capital all lit up. But the thing I'm seeing besides this beautiful image is what are these flags doing uh, down here in front of the Capitol? And we, we see them waving a little bit higher up, a little bit more. So those breezes are starting to come in as well. When I was letting my dogs out uh, bright and early this morning, I felt the chill. Well, late last night into this morning, although <laughs> my friend meteorologist Brandon Lawrence, it sounds like we're getting a little balmy out there already. I was going to tell you, you know, you say you feel the chill and I believe you. You get cold easily. I do. This I do. morning is mild compared <laughs> to what is coming later today. Get ready, kids. Yeah. <laughs> the wind is starting to increase. That will signal the arrival of that colder air. It'll take some time to get here, but this mild air essentially gets pushed out of the way with a strong Arctic cold front later today. Our temperatures fall as the day goes on. It is pretty balmy outside this morning. 33 in Des Moines, 34 in Perry, 28 in Fort Dodge. Atlantic is at 37 degrees and we've got a lot of 36 readings across southern and south central Iowa. This morning it is plenty cloudy. That is out ahead of this cold front and temperatures will generally stay in the low to mid 30s and then start to fall, especially by the time we get to lunchtime. 27 degrees at noon. By 3 p.m., only 20 degrees, and by 5 p.m. on the ride home, it'll be 16. So dress for what to expect later today, because even though it is pretty balmy, pretty nice for the morning commute, the afternoon and evening ride home will be considerably different. And yes, the wind will continue to pick up through the day. This afternoon, it'll gust out of the northwest between 25 and 30 miles per hour. So the wind chill certainly a factor by 4 and 5 p.m. It'll be close to zero for the wind chill already sub zero north of Des Moines. It gets even more severe heading into early tomorrow morning with the wind chill ranging from 15 to near 30 below zero. We also have a bit of an active radar out in advance of this cold front. There is some snow falling through north central Iowa. A little bit of a heavier burst there moving into northern and central Hamilton County just to the south of Highway 20. And there's a little bit of light rain falling south and west of Des Moines. That is just plain old rain. Future cast though shows that a lot of this will be fizzling out as the morning goes on. I don't expect anything significant other than maybe a few partially snow covered roadways in northern and north central Iowa. So be prepared for that. The clouds will start to break apart as the day goes on and we may see a little sunshine before we wrap things up, but it will be getting so much colder. The high 34 this morning and then it will drop considerably as the day goes on down to five below zero tomorrow morning, a high of seven on Tuesday, 10 below zero Wednesday morning, and then we warm it up again. That's a look at our 10 day forecast brought to you by Holt Plumbing and Heating. At least things get a little bit steadier by the end of this week into the weekend. Ooh, just in time for that groundhog to find out if it can uh, <laughs> see that shadow or not. Yeah. Oh, by the way, speaking of that, I don't believe in the groundhog or I don't trust him. He's always a liar, but I will tell you <laughs> that there are now 55 days until the first day of spring. So Woo! we have less winter left or I guess we're already more than halfway yeah. through winter. That's the way to phrase it. That's a positive thing to think about this yeah. Monday morning. All right, everybody, we have plenty more straight ahead.